Hello everybody, this is going to be a very quick one before people start coming in. It's almost 12 noon here, lunchtime, and so I usually have quite some people, a lot of people out here in the lunch hour, so bear with me if I do shut this down, um, just bear with me. All right, so I wanted to answer the question that Linda uh, Gilly asked. This is, what is the difference between moving out of season and creating an opportunity? I've been praying a lot about that for God to just reveal exactly what needs to happen. Um, so uh, this afternoon, I'm just going to share a little bit of it, and then maybe later on when I'm back or, uh, at home, I can share some more, or maybe tomorrow. Now, when you are moving out of season, you are out of line. When you are moving out of season, things do not work out the way that you expect. When you are moving out of season, you are way ahead of yourself. When you are creating an opportunity, there's always check and balances with your opportunity. When you are creating an opportunity, there is a blessing that is attached with that. And here's the thing. When you are creating an opportunity, you just don't go out on your own self, just like go on, on your own energy and go out without really looking at the balance and checks. For everything that we do in our lives, there needs to be a balance and there needs to be a check. And so when you know that this is an opportunity that you're creating, there are some balance and checks. There are some people in your life that will be the balance and checks for you. You're not just running out and saying, well, God said to do it, and so you're just going to do it. But there's always people along the line that gives you that balance and checks. They might not be people you want to hear from. They might not necessarily be people that you like. But they will always. Um, there's always a way that there's confirmation in things that you do, right? Um, a lot of the things that I do, I always have confirmation before I move. Now, let me tell you this. I have made errors in my lifetime. Oh, my God, whopper, bazooka kind of errors because I've just felt it that, oh, well, if the door doesn't open, I'm just going to ram my head through the door and just open it myself. But I've never waited. That those opportunities, I've never waited to really hear uh other people say, you know what, that's, that's, that I think that's what you should be doing. I've never waited to hear that confirmation. I've just said, okay, if God said it, that's it. And I end up ramming my head and I come back and say, well, God, you said it. But the thing is, yes, he said it, but he didn't tell me when. And this is where balance and checks come in because the when might not necessarily come from you. It might come from other people. And so when you are creating an opportunity, you are creating, creating it based on the knowledge of what God has shown you, based on the knowledge of what he has confirmed. And so you are creating an opportunity. When I started on YouTube, right, I tried to create opportunities for myself on TV, in the TV here. I was in the TV in Nigeria, so that was not an issue. But here there was, I mean, everywhere I went, it was just those shot, shot, shot. And so I decided, you know what? I knew it was a it was an arena that God had already given me. It was just people trying to be funny about it. And so I decided, you know what? I'm going to start my own YouTube. And here's the thing. I did not just run ahead because I knew it. I felt it. It was time to go start it, right? But I still did not run. It was all the people around me that kept saying, you know what? You belong on YouTube. You Have you ever tried YouTube before? You 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 belong on In fact, we, let's dub you the princess in Somalia. You belong on YouTube. You should be on YouTube. And so when people start coming around telling me what I is like, oh, wow, wait a minute. Um, this is confirmation. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like a heart shuddering confirmation like, oh, the church said no. It could just be anybody around you that know who you are, know who, what you're worth, and know where you, where God is taking you. And all of a sudden, they start dropping those confirmation. Creating at all, an opportunity should be created on a platform knowing that, number one, this is what God wants for you. Number two, this is the season for it. Number three, you're not falling out of line. You're not stepping on everybody. You're doing it because you know it is time. And number three, there is confirmation outside of your own head. Do you hear me? There is confirmation outside of your own head. Right? And then when you're moving out of season, things will be whacked. I'm telling you, when you move out of season, 
that same thing that God has given you can be distorted. And before you know it, people are not really seeing it the way you wanted, it, wanted them to see it, but they're seeing it in kind of like an off way. When you are out of season, you can take the, 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 the plans that God gave you and distort it in such a way that now people no longer understand that, that gifting, right? When you are out of season, there's something, there's something inside of you that tells you something is wrong. But a lot of times, if we're quiet and still enough, we will, we will figure out what, whatever it is that is wrong. And if we are not the one figuring out, if we have our skates on and we're just going, right, all the people around us, we put a break to it and say, look here, I think something is off with what you're doing. You need to take a good look at it again, right? And when people tell you to take a look at it, you have to be open. Otherwise, then you are out of season. You are going to be moving in out of season. And when you are moving out of season, right, it's just like somebody who planted pineapples and then wants to go out to, you know, to pick granites. Now, you know granites is not coming out of, out of pineapple. You know that, right? Right? So that's what, that's what out of season feels like. Out of season feels like you're trying to squeeze something, right? You're trying to squeeze something that God has shown you, right? And you're trying to squeeze it out of a season that is not, is not even, maybe that season is meant for you to just water it. That season is meant for you to just grow it. That season is just meant for you to just connect with people that are in that arena, that are doing what you want to do. That might just be that season where you're just going out, not necessarily trying to be what that thing is, but trying to connect, forge alliances, understand the nature of that business, right? And so, but if you run ahead and do not allow the process, do not take time to learn the process, then when you're out of season, your body will tell you, your money will tell you, every part of you will tell you, trust me, I've been there, done it, I wrote a book on it, and I'm about to write another one on it, right? So it's important for you to understand there is a difference between moving out of season and creating an opportunity. When you create an opportunity, ensure that the opportunity that you create, you're creating it because of the knowledge that you already know that God has given you. You're creating it on the process that you have learned because Creating an opportunity doesn't mean you have to climb and, you know, climb over a process or drop a process, avoid a process, right? When you're creating an opportunity, it simply means that you're learning the process. This is where creating an opportunity starts. It starts with learning the process. That same process that people that are out of season avoid. You sit in that process and you learn it. And if whatever, however, how long it's going to take you, then that's how long you're going to learn it. Because here's the thing. It might take you seven years. But on the seventh year, my goodness, when you come out, people will be looking at you and saying, oh, my God, this is an overnight success. Now, you know you're not an overnight success. But people will look at you and say, my goodness, she or he is an overnight success. The difference, moving out of season, you will know it. Your spirit will know it. Everybody around you will know it. But when you create an opportunity, that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. It's not going to come easy. But you know you can be in peace knowing that you forged ahead, learning the process, mastering the process, right? So that you can manifest that opportunity that you're creating. Never, never run ahead of God. Because you slept tonight and God showed you where he's taking you tomorrow, don't mean because that tomorrow is relative, right? Tomorrow is relative. Tomorrow doesn't literally mean tomorrow. Tomorrow may be 10 years down the road. Tomorrow may be 20. Tomorrow may be 5 and it may be 5 seconds. Only God gets to determine what that tomorrow is. There's nothing wrong in creating an opportunity. But make sure that you're creating it on a platform of Jehovah God Almighty. Make sure that you're creating it, understanding that you've got the confirmation, not just in your own head, but that there are people around you that genuinely care for you, that are already dropping confirmation into your spirit. Otherwise, if you create an opportunity or force a door open, 
you might not like the outcome later. You might not like the outcome. Can I say that again? You might not like the outcome. So stay in season at all times. And one of the ways you can stay in season is be prayerful and listen more and understand that everybody that God has brought your way, they have a reason for being there. They have a reason. You might not know yet, but they have a reason. And that when people prompt you and say this is what we think, don't be too quick to dismiss it. Because inside what they say might be solution to what you're waiting on. Inside what they say might be the answer and the breakthrough for that creating of that opportunity. Those who know me as Princess of Somovia know that I am a master opportunity maker, right? Because I've been through a lot in my life and I got to a point where I said, you know what? Hollywood, you, you all think I don't, I don't make it, but I'm going to show you that I can make it. But before I got to that point, I'd already heard the word. Before I got to that point, I will remember going to Kansas City and the word went out saying, this is what you're going to be doing and you're going to be out there creating opportunities. The word, the confirmation was there. And because it was there, when I started the YouTube, that was when the YouTube just went like, whoa, millions of people, I didn't know where they came from because I heard the word, not just in my head. I heard it in my head. I took it to my heart. I received confirmation and then I forged I am. So that is the difference. But when you move out of season, you don't wait for confirmation. You, you hear it in your head, right? You quickly grab it to your heart but you never wait for confirmation. Ooh, that's a good one right there. That just dropped. You don't wait. So somebody who is out of season never waits for confirmation. They just say, well, God said it already and I'm going to do it. And the thing is, how many of you know that we can be in error? There are so many things that we think God is saying that he's really not saying nothing. He's just being quiet. I'm telling you right now. Mm, okay. I'm not talking about anybody else. I'm Okay, I'm just saying that there are so many things because here's the thing. Our God is not a talkative. A lot of times, most things that we say, he, talk, he be talking. Do not be talking that. He's just quiet and just wants you to be still with yourself. And so that's why it's important for us to have that checked and balances because our heart speaks, right? Our heart speaks what we desire often. And if we're not careful, we're not able to discern between when our heart is telling us what we desire to hear versus when God is actually speaking. And so for you to know that God is speaking, then that confirmation is important. That confirmation is important. A lot of the things I've been successful at in my lifetime have simply been because the ones when I've actually had to wait when I think about some of the things that I've really bombed at versus the things that I've been successful at, the ones I've been successful at have been the ones that I heard it. God told me, I received it in my heart, and then I waited. And waiting, serving, doing whatever I need to do, other things, mastering my brilliance until the confirmation came. And once the confirmation came, not just from one or two people, not from people that love me, that won't tell me the truth, but just people that don't even know me and just said, God woke me up to do this. God woke me up to tell you this. And once they told me that, that was proof for me to just move and begin to create that opportunity. It was proof for me to to start my YouTube channel. It was proof for me to ch start my own TV show. It was proof for me to start my own radio show. It was proof for me to just start writing. It was proof for me to start speaking. It was proof for me to start making movies instead of writing other people's movies to now start writing my own movies. It was just proof, right? It was proof. And my very first movie, I didn't wait. I heard it. I received it. Because my heart wanted it, I ran ahead of God. Instead of me to sell that script, I tried to do something else with it, and it was a disaster. Y'all hear me? 
and it was a six-figure disaster, a high six-figure disaster. Don't do that. Don't be like me. This is why you have mentors, so that they can teach you what not to do. So don't make your mistakes expensive ones, all right? Don't make them expensive ones. Once you've heard it, wait. That's what's going to separate moving out of season and creating an opportunity. Because when you're creating an opportunity, it might look good. It, I mean, usually that's what happens. It starts off real, right? Real great. And then it stops in the middle because you skip the process. Wait. Wait. So God bless you, Linda, and everybody else. I hope this is a blessing for you. Uh, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.